Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I am your host, Valgus Sonari, back with the Shinobi Trap LP on Brigandine, the Legend of Inertia. This is the final episode, or episode, should I say. So, uh, usually what I like to do from the first LP, I went ahead and put the last episode of the uh, final two bosses. So, it's going to be the rank three boss, which is going to be, in fact, the Mana Eater, once again. So, it didn't change from Gustava. I thought it actually might, because it's a different uh, faction, but that's perfectly fine. So... We're going up against the same stuff as we did in the first LP, which you have not checked out, by the way. Uh, if you have not checked it out, by the way, top right-hand corner, I'll leave that up there for you. But, um, yeah, so we're going up against the Mana Eater and also either the Rune God or uh, Aurora and Endorian. I have not decided yet, so once we get in there and do some dialogue, I'll decide what the right course of action is after that. And then as soon as we beat the game today on this episode... The very next episode, which will be the official last one, which will be the alternate ending of the um, of the LP. So, be a very short one because I'm just going to go battle the opposite boss. Um, other than like, if I fight Rune God today, I'll fight um, Aurora and Enduring tomorrow, and vice versa. You know what I mean? Okay. So we're already set up and ready to go. Um, let me give you a look at the team really quick. This is what I ended up with. All level 30s, I got as much mana miracles as I possibly could, and uh, we've got them all geared out in 3-star equipment. Everybody has bonuses, we're, we are rocking. Um, I don't think I missed anybody, let me give you one more uh, look over. It's been quite the grind, let me say. I wanted to get this out yesterday, uh, sorry running his went up yesterday morning, but I still wasn't ready because IRL was kicking my butt, uh, doctor's appointment, all this, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's go. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to beat this game again, and then I'm ready to beat it again four more times <laughs> after a two-week uh, hiatus, should I say? So, all right, let's get in there and kick this mana eater's ass, man! I am ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hopefully, it'll be uh, as smooth, if not a little bit smoother than it was on the first run. But the um, the first time I fought this guy, it was super smooth, super smooth. It went so good. Um, I made one mistake that I let him uh, pop off his uh, main attack, but uh, regardless. Alright, <clears throat> let's get in there and do some damage. Pretty nice seeing everything come together, you know what I mean? So, well, we got some things. Yo. Yep. The ascension of the Mana Eater. The rise or whatever. That thing looks ridiculous. Look at his eyes on the left-hand side. It's a screw and like a another nail or whatever. It's pretty disturbing actually when you look at the faces. Oh, we are going to do some damage today, Boo Boo. Don't you worry about it. So we're already here. I'm not going to cut any footage. So we're going to get right into the action right here. Hopefully Sid, can, he can almost get up in there. So I'm going to put him over on the left-hand side. Um, forest tile, I already see that going. Um, and then use his skill because he can't quite reach, which is fine. This is preferable anyway. So use swift stance. Very nice. All right, <clears throat> let's get it, man. I am so ready. I am so ready. He does have hidden away, but I'm not going to use it here. Um, Let's see. We could do hit and away there, um, possibly, but the thing is, can I get right back? What's your... You have like 10 speed, don't you? 9, yeah, yeah. Let me count this out, hang on. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, he takes that route and goes back by 2 or 3, so that should be okay. So, hit here, 203. Yikes. Good damage there. Nice miss. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, let's get back this way. I want Sid to fight as much as possible. Because uh, he can take the uh, the evasion tanking. So, we're going to put you here. Sure. Hmm. You are most definitely going to go right here. This uh, basilisk is most definitely going to go in the forest. Yes, absolutely. We're gonna put this guy right here for breath potential. Yeah, it's still really loud. Attack an MP regen up. Yikes, it's good stuff. I mean, what's the point in MP regen up? That's gonna 
go away eventually, isn't it? Regardless. Okay. Um. Hmm. Talia. Where to put you? I need to keep her as safe as possible. Because she can't be dying over here. Uh, let's see. Even though she's a great frontline fighter, don't get me wrong. But you know what I mean. Let's see. Hmm. Do we line it up like this? Or I think I prepare more for uh, his approach over there. But the left side might get hit up really heavily. I might need to maneuver her unit to the left side. But this mountain over here is troublesome. Um. What is this? Petrify? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't want any of that. So, yeah, I'll put the Ancient Dragon right here. Uh, let's see. You are going to go right here, boo-boo. Stay right there. Um, Bahamut. We have a hit and away with you, actually. Let's do that. Get all the damage going on. Now, I know we don't necessarily have to focus on the uh, other creatures. We need to focus leaders. Um, because we really can't get any more experience. We're maxed out. So, um, with the exception of a couple of these monsters, which are 29. Uh, let's see. Stand by here. I may put her here, but the thing is... Yeah, she's got some white orbs. She might take a lot of damage, even though she's probably going to evade all of this. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of dark happening here, which is scary for her. Um, and my Archangels as well. Let's see. Nah, she can go here. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Let's make a wall this way. If I can help it, uh, the Mana Eater needs to only hit, at maximum, two units with his big attack. Because he can move and do that stuff. Uh, so if we can make that happen, that's uh, definitely preferable. So, we will defend against his approach over this way put you over here just in case I need an extra thunder in my life. Let's see. This angel goes here. Perfect. 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 Okay. Man, we got some good defense on the right hand side. Look at this. Yeah, man. We are ready. We are ready. Let's see. Um. Who do I want doing breath? Bellinus, and then there's a perfect hydra as well. Neptunus. <laughs> man. Either, either one would be fine. Um. Yeah, just put them here, I guess. For now. Any potential over this way? Perfect. Alright, let's roll. Bring it. Oof! That's not the greatest spot in the world. Nice crit, though. My dog might die. Yep, that'll get some exact damage. That's fine. Yep. We just need to focus down the Dark Knight if we can. Easier said than done, for sure. Okay. I think we're flipping turns at random, because they're all level 30. So this will be a chore. Nice heal. Yep, yeah, okay, Sid's going first. Perfect. Uh, Zawar's going next, then Talia. Good, good, good. The turn order is pretty nice right now, so... I. Definitely need to, need to do a divine ray on this guy. Uh, they do have gear. Um, cannot be affected by status effects and just a whole bunch of stats. But you can inflict charm with your sword, which is pretty dangerous. Um, we're definitely gonna breath, I believe. Dark breath or inferno breath. Um, I mean either one. Like this is more powerful. He just he doesn't resist this. It's one twelve. Inferno breath is one oh nine. Yeah. <laughs> Three damage difference. Hey, it could make the difference. Who knows? Um, will he evade this? I wonder. Or, I could try to hit you. I would love to halo that, but I can't. I don't think. I don't think the Archangel even has halo, which is stupid. That's a lot of damage, too. Hmm. Because she has blue resistance. Um, do you have halo or not? You don't have Halo. Explain that to me. <laughs> Angels don't have Halo. Um, I'm going to have to depend on the hit. Uh, let's see. She's in line of a breath attack. You know what? If that does enough damage, I might be able to kill her. 
Let's see. This way. 245, yeah. If I can hit with the Mandrake. Okay, let me try this. If this connects, then I can kill her with the Hydra. So, numb powder. Let's connect. Yes! And a paralysis. Doesn't matter. But we're going to kill her with a breath attack. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yep, death. Goodbye. Bam. Easy. Okay. Now we can focus on this dude. Um, we are probably going to react to Divine Ray <laughs> and kill this guy very quickly. Let me see how much damage this does, first of all. So, Divine Ray, 266 for sure. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, we got him easily. Let's see. Question is, uh, who am I going to get the kill with? Do I need both, I wonder? So. Perfect time for a react spell. If you're good. Do it again. Do it again. Round two. 266. Perfect. Alright. So Sid could most definitely get that kill. I could just do a breath, um, get the kill, and then come back to the forest tile. But then again, I'm going to have to reform anyways to, like, this angle right here. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so do the breath. Um, Dark Inferno. 112. I don't even think a block would be able to defend against all of it, but we'll see. Um... How do I want to do this formation? Uh, I don't know. I kind of just want to stand by and then reform after I get the kill. Alright, Sid, my boy. Can we do it? Can we do it? 217, assuming he doesn't block. I don't know. That would probably uh, keep him living, actually. Nice. It's a crit. I'll let you, boy. He's dead. Bye. Easy. Easy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Alright, stand by right here. That's perfect. Bring it! Come on, Mana Eater. I don't have all day. I've got another LP to prepare for. <laughs> so, by the way, good morning, good morning, Notification Squad. I'm so sorry I didn't greet you this morning. Hopefully you are having a good day so far. Good morning, and you had a very good night's rest. Let's see. Um, by the way, I got a new controller uh, yesterday. I'm using the 8-Bit Doe SN30 Pro Plus right here. So, if you are interested in this controller, this is not a sponsored video, but I will leave an Amazon link in the description below. You can pick this up for 50 bucks. Very, very, um, uh, vari variety savvy. Is that a thing? <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. It's got a lot of variety to it, so very customizable. All that good stuff, so you can check it out in the link below. Uh, let's see. I want to reposition the breath attacks for sure, so get some room going right here. Perfect. Natalia. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to actually put you in front. So, uh, the angel's definitely going to go here. Where can he get? Where is he? Okay, he's got a ways to go. One, two, three, four. Man, he's slow, actually, for a wolf-type creature. You figured he'd be able to like go all over the place. Um, Methinks I might do a heal, actually, but... Probably do it with this one. Because you're, uh... Yeah, Flying Snake Fang is 90. I need to be using that mostly. So, yeah, if I can get him in line of that uh, each time, then that's perfect. Because that's her most powerful attack, so I need to be using that. Uh, the Angel needs a heal for sure. Bahamut is here as well. Let's bring up this end over this way, I think. You know what? If I could bait him into, like... A spot where he only hits two creatures. That would be great. Um, three. It's probably going to be three, but we're gonna we're gonna make sure it's like three at maximum. So, um, who's tanking this part right here? A dragon for sure, or a hydra. The Simurg needs to stay out of range. Um, let me bring up this front more over this way. I think. Yeah. Yeah, go over here. Perfect. Talia, I think I'm going to keep you right here. Um, Depending on what he does the next uh, move, 
is uh, what I'll decide with Talia later on. So I want to get that uh, Stinger attack in range. Um, let's see. So, yeah, the front line, Bellness right here. Perfect. Uh, this Angel needs to get somewhere else. I think I'm going to use you for healing purposes. So we already have an Angel over here. This Angel has done its duty, even though it has MP left. Uh, I also need to think about a spot for Medessa. Because the Hydra needs to take this spot right here. So we need to get these units especially out of range. Put you over here. Medessa can go this way. No curse potential, but that's fine. I can just frost everything all day and get more area heal potential with her. So, we got that. Uh, Hydra takes this spot. For sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe back one. That way I have potential to do thunder. And or, um, you know, react spells. Yeah. Let's see. So we got a Hydra back here and a Man Eater, but we're going to bring up the defenses on the right and left anyways with those two. So it'll all be good. Yeah, you be here. The Nightmare. I'm going to go... Honestly, I need to get to the right a little bit more with uh, my healing units. One, two, three. You can reach the front line. Two, three. If I put something here, which I probably won't. Um, yeah, be here with it. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Lots of thinking. I play all these micromanagement games, man. <laughs> Star Renegades is actually very, very strategical. Very micromanagey. In every battle, almost. Especially those boss battles, man. Uh, let's see. We could do a hit and away, uh, depending on your movement. Let me see. But does it really matter? Because I'm going to be focusing him anyways. You have five mobility. That's not going to work. Hmm. Uh, let's see. This guy is going to go right here, I believe. One, two, three. One, two. Not too much potential for it, but I could take this spot with the Gremlin, or I could put the Archangel there. It's probably best if the Archangel goes there, honestly. Um, the Hydra. I might actually make you go this way and prepare more breath attacks. So... Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a good idea to me. Um, one, two, three. You can do range, I know, but you're good for tanking this anyways. You have 932 HP. My god. Uh, so, let's be here with it. Yes, absolutely. That's perfect. Okay, Angel can go here. Awesome. Uh, Fenrir, I'm probably... Uh, hmm... I mean, both sides are stupid tanky. Like, it doesn't really matter where I go. Uh, I might go this way. I don't know. They could go either way, but they're going to try to avoid this petrification stuff, so they might go more over this way, so let's be over here with it. Maybe do some breath attacks up on during that line right there. Up into that line. Let's see. Uh, how much is React? React is 136. Okay, you got one more. Um, I don't necessarily need a position for bolt spells, but who knows? One, two, three. Yeah, this is the right position right here. Perfect. Okay, and just stand by. Okay, we've reformed. Let's go. <laughs> what are we going to do? Moving it. Yep, there it is. Oh, he killed my angels. Oh, my God, that hurts so bad. Oh. Oh my gosh, it is already not going smoother than last time. For sure. Oh my goodness, that really hurt. Ugh, that took away a lot of firepower, man. A lot of firepower. I am in trouble. Okay. Area heals. Stat. <laughs> uh. Jesus. Um, hmm. Can the Bahamut get a hit? I don't think he can. He can get around. But I don't think he can get back to uh, an area heal. How much is that? He's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. 
Mm. Scary. Okay, uh, area heal now. We'll pop it now. Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty scary because it's full MP. Uh, Angel's gone. Or one MP Angel gone, full MP Angel gone, and this one is out of range of Divine Ray. So, that was a really good hit on his part, for sure. Okay, we're gonna do a freaking uh, ground, not a ground fire, ultimate flare attack. I hardly ever get to use this. So, that's gonna do 357 damage. Yeah, this needs to happen for sure. So, go this now. Boom. Are you serious? What was the percentage? What was the percentage? Oh my god. Was it like stupid low percentage? What happened there? I should have pincered him first. I didn't realize it was going to be that low. Oh my god, that is terrible. And he got MP back from that. Oh my god, I really want to restart. I really, 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 really want to restart, but I'm not going to. Mm, man. And he's surrounded by his, uh, by his dogs. Guys and gals, this is not going, this is not going well at all. This is very much worse than the previous LP. Um, goodness. Yeah, I should have pincered his ass first. Why did I not think about the evasion? I can't believe that missed. I'm so upset. Wow. Luckily, they don't do a lot of damage, but... Man. We can still enclose. Just making some more room here. God! God! It's okay. As long as we don't let him get back up to 300, we're fine, but he can still do some decent damage with his uh, main attack, especially on a leader. God, I am so upset about that, man. Oh, I'm so upset about that. Ugh. Ultimate Flare. Yeah, what was the percentage? Like, I know he's being enclosed right now, but... It doesn't say, like, a previous accuracy rating. Is there something I'm missing here? Invariable double, double action, no. No? What was the percentage on this? Someone tell me in the comments below. Was it actually lower than 100? I should be seeing an increase of accuracy right here because he's enclosed, right? Regardless, we're going to try again. That hit, thank you. Oh, that counterattack, yo. Let's see. Ugh. I need more area heals. Sid is next. I have the I have the Archangel, but not in a good position. Hmm. I could react, move in, and do a curse. Can I? Yeah, you have the MP. Um, for two reacts, mind you, which is really nice. Or do I wait for Talia to take her turn? I don't know because I might lose something else in the process. I don't know how hard that's gonna hit. Because it only did like 145. Yeah, it won't hurt that much. And I don't think the dogs can focus down any one single target. Maybe the Bahamut back here, but... Uh... He's kind of like, you know... <laughs> a distraction. Uh... Jesus. <laughs> I want a breath, but... That's gonna do massive damage to, um... That dragon. I should have made it the opposite way. 178, yeah. 224, though. Not bad. And there's really no other options, but... Yeah, we can heal through it. Okay, let's breath. Mm. 
Man, oh man. We do have area heal on you, right? Yeah. Is he dark element? No, he's he's not elemental. Okay. Um. Hmm. I would like to do the most damage to him as possible. That's gonna be with Medessa doing like a curse, for example. So. I think I, I think I can afford to wait for Talia's turn and just use normal heals. Yeah, let's use normal heals. Wait for Talia's turn to come back around and do another area heal. If we need it. We may not need it. But still, I need to react her and do massive damage right here. Really, you need to take out the Mana Eater with a bunch of magic because he can't counter and drain MP back. But you still need a really tanky force regardless, so it's it's a nice balance there. Okay. Uh, let's curse it up. We have 251. Very nice. With no MP gain from that. Good stuff. Oh man, I missed my angel so bad already. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to end up moving in. Because I don't think he can really get out because we have him enclosed. Um, actually, you know what? Let me see his movement. No, he can? You can move all that way? Really? Is it because I'm not adjacent to him, maybe? That's pretty insane. Okay. Um. I don't know, because if he moves away, then I won't be able to do any Divine Rays. Uh, that's pretty bad. So, instead... Yes. Yikes. All right, it's his turn. We can do a uh, an idle flash, which will be really nice to have. Hopefully, it crits too. That would be amazing. Okay. Uh, let's see. He's not even halfway down yet. Not even close. Um, I can't reach him with thunder, unfortunately. He's really got himself blocked off here. I hate this. Heavy Numb Powder is going to do how much? 229? Damn. Uh, sure. <coughs> it won't paralyze, but that's fine. 229 is no slouch. Plus, he doesn't get to counter that. Now, if he misses me, I don't think he gets the MP back regardless. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let me see what this is like. So, I've got Swift Stance on, I think. No, I don't. It wore off. Idle Flash. He's got 54% chance to hit me. 424. Uh, yeah, go. It didn't crit, unfortunately. Okay. He does get it back regardless. Okay. That's fine. Um, I still have enough for one more. I would like to stay here and use it if possible. Then again, I need hit and away potential. Um. Let's move over this way, maybe. Yeah. I think we'll go this way. Yeah, we'll do that. So now we can do a hit and away from here. Heavy bite. 323. Nice. Nice miss. We can get some more enclosure this way. He may not be able to move to the right. In fact, I'm going to check his uh, movement. He can still get way over here. What the heck is this thing made of? I mean, it's, he's called an illusion. I guess he can run through me. Is that the idea? I guess it makes sense all, when all's fair, but... Okay. We're definitely going to react something. You're going to be here for sure. 262. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This, this, this is definitely a different one, man. I could have had him way close to death with those angels. 
they would have survived. But he's only halfway up the MP line, so it's okay. Um, are we reacting now? I could react a curse, but that's assuming he doesn't move. But then again, I could just move and curse anyway, so... Uh, yeah, let's react uh, Medessa. That imp is done. Stay where you are. Shit. That is like the worst thing you could have possibly done. Wow. He got 60 MP out of that. Okay. I gotta watch Talia. Points for trying, though. Ten points for trying. Okay. Are you full now? No, he's got 90 left. He'll get full for sure because I'm going to be hitting him like crazy. But this has to be it, though. Uh, she can get two away. So she has her react in tow. Um, I can't hit him with this dragon unless I breath. I'll have to breath through him, which is fine. I will do this. Um... Talia most definitely needs to do an area heal, I would say. Just in case things go south. Which they very well could. I'm just trying to make sure I use everybody to their fullest um, until I pop the area heal. Um, let me see. Counterattack. 68%. We're here. Nice, he missed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, that's in line of the area heal. Fantastic. Um, we don't necessarily need it with you, but I can't really put you in range of that anyways. While also getting a hit. So, you're breathing. You're already in range. So the area heal happens now. Okay. Ooh, boy. Thank you, Talia. <laughs> Great mother Talia. Let's see. We're definitely breathing. Ground fire. 308. <laughs> Crazy. 262. Okay, he's down. Past a thousand. I should be able to get this. I gotta be careful though because he does have a lot of spaces left. And I also have the React from Medessa. I should get him. Yeah, I should get him. He's gonna get his MP back regardless, but... We still have all of our turns in a row to go, so... Alright, Medessa's next. So she has, uh, only one space it looks like to get him, so she has to go... Here. Or here. Preferably here. Yep. Stand by. Do your thing. I don't care who kills, I just want this thing dead. 251. Ugh. Okay. We can react to the ancient dragon, right? Yes. Uh, That might even kill him, actually. Yeah, we, we got him dead. We got him dead. Alright. No sweat. Perfect. Get up in there, boy. Get up in there. Do some damage. 285. Yeah, we got him dead. Whew. All right. I've got some revival stones to use after this battle. <laughs> Damn. That really hurt. God bless the revival stones, right? All right. Mana Eater is out of here. No more. Nice crit, though. 413. Yeah, boy. That's a win. All at me. Alright. A little rough in the beginning, but... You know... It's typical of that fight to be really rough whenever he gets the chance to pop it off one time. Do not let him do it a second time if you can help it. Uh, 
I actually let him do it um, a second time on the uh, Holy Gustavo Empire, but his first one was botched for whatever reason. It wasn't that good. I can't remember how he used it, but I think he used it on like maybe only two units or three units. I forget what happened, but uh, it wasn't that great the first time he used it. Okay. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. And there's the stones that they knew that I would need. <laughs> and we got the tears, which I'm not going to be using, so... It'd be interesting to use that, though, at some point where you just, like... Uh, I saw Trigger do it, actually, on one of his videos, um, taking Rudo solo into uh, Death Valley and just killing um, the Rune God, I think, solo. Now, granted, Rudo was, like, way beyond what you see right here on these stats. Like, he was maxed out on every single stat you can possibly think of. Strength, intelligence, agility, everything was maxed out. But it needed to be in order to make sure that you can solo him pretty easily. But, um, anyways, uh, very good. So, I'm going to take a pause right here, and I'm going to go ahead and get into Death Valley here very soon. So let me do some TLC with my angels, get them back in the fray, do some re-equipping, and then we will get into the final battle of the Shinobi Tribe. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gents, it is time. The attack is set, and we are getting into the final battle. Let's do it. I'm ready. I am so ready. Let's witness some scenes here, I'm assuming, so... Here's a scene we know from uh, the previous LP. Really epic. <laughs> really, really epic. Shout out to the artist doing all these portraits, man. Hahanaru <laughs> ルーンの神。人間たちは戦い続けなくてはならないのだ。戦い続け。そして一体人間たちはいくつ愛する大切な人の命を失ってきたというのだ。ルーンの騎士よ。そなたはもうそのことに気づかなくてはならない。オーロラ。なぜあ
uh, Aurora is just trying to spite the Rune God for, you know, what happened to her in the past. And just making up this story, but like, then again, looking back on it from the first playthrough, I definitely wanted to take out the Rune God based on the storyline. Um, and what she said. She didn't give a lot of clarity on this one, so if I played Shinobi first, I actually might have sided with the Rune God, but now I'm conflicted. I don't know what to do. Pause. Okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do here. So, based on freedom alone, uh, and what the Shinobi tribe is all about, just on that concept by itself, I have to keep on going back to that main goal, because it was it's always the main goal of whatever country you're playing as. We are under control from the Rune God. If we pick the Rune God and we decide to uh, fight with him, then we'll always be under control and always in ignorance and we'll never be free. This is a freedom choice right here, siding with Aurora and Endorian. So, yeah, we're going to confront the Rune God. <clears throat> we're going to kill you again. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I think that that is the... Uh, the course of action that makes the most sense. So, you let me know what you think in the comments below for sure. それでは、ルーンの神、マナの力、それらはもう、このルーナジアに不要だというの。自分たちのためそう、そんな もし<笑> マナストーンを鎧に組み込むとは思いもよらなかった。人間たちのその知恵は最大の武器となった。ヘルヤ。ヘルヤ。最大の武器。ヘルヤ。<笑><笑> yes, <笑> ここに組み込まれたマナストーンは Talia took hold of the mana stone firmly and wrenched it from the brigandine. Precisely. Precisely. This definitely seems like the right course of action. However, do I lose my armor piece? Talia. ルーンの神よ。今こそ。我ら人間はマナストーンを。お返しするわ。そして。本当の。Holy is the mother effing thumbnail for sure. Oh my god, what a graphic. All right, Talia, my girl. <clears throat> Let's see. As she flung the mana stone into the sky, it was quickly swallowed into a vortex before disappearing in a bright flash. 
An ear-splitting roar echoed from the sky as if it were the wrath of God itself. <laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> um, Talia, do you still have your armor piece? <laughs> I had stones equipped to all three leaders. Are they just gone? Did I lose my bonuses? I need to check my gear because I can't switch it out now, so. This might be an issue. <laughs> Rar. I love Endorian's design, by the way. Really cool. And the rune guy, by the way. It's Yes, it's just a statue from Gaimul, but still really cool. Here come the idols. Oh, boy. All right. Come <clears> on, <throat> No damage. Whoops. どうしたの今いましい。あの子の怒りをぶつけるにはあの孤尺な偶像を蹴散らす必要がありそうだ。どうやら Excellent. Incarnation of Rune Vulnerable. Amen. さあ、ルーナジアの王よ。存分に力を振るうがいい。本当の自由を手にするためにも、ルーンの神よ。あなたと。Precisely. Precisely my thoughts before we decided what to do. Well said. She took the words right out of my mouth. Alright. Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm glad we're not fighting Tim as well, but it wouldn't make sense, right? So, no mana stone for Tim. Okay, stay out of range. Can we zoom out, please? There we go. Perfect. All right, Aurora, my girl, get in there. I'm following you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, hang on. Um, so yeah, let me check gear. They're gone. <laughs> They're gone. I lost my bonuses. That's not fair. <sighs> Man. I need to anticipate that for the next LP for sure. I almost want to reset just because that's pretty unfair if I would uh, say so myself. I can do this still. Don't worry about that. But, <laughs> but Mother's Tunic, this is different. Defense 15, HP 15. That's all we get. Three star. Decent, but yeah. Oh, man. Like, I don't have to worry about status effects, no. But, I had bonuses. Okay. Let's move. Let's move. Hmm. How we do this? Uh, let's see. This is a warning spot. This is not. I'll put you here in line for breath attacks, possibly. Bring set up this way. Perfect. Alright. Um, behind. Yeah, that looks good to me. Aurora can act as sort of like a leader type. Um, yep, just move all the way forward. Hmm, Angel. I think so. Rudo, where can you get? Let me see. Rudo can get to the Hydra. Okay, that's actually good because he's at full health, like almost max health. So if he wastes that big attack on him, that's perfect. Now, <laughs> spoiler for those of you who haven't watched before, but... At some point during the battle, if you don't kill the Rune God in time, then these idols come back to life. So we've really got to be careful. Um, 
So I can afford to move you here and also the dog right here. Yep. Okay, I'm good with that. This is where the force is going to be really crazy. Um, it's going to take some time to get up there with these dragons, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Talia, I need to protect you like crazy. So stay back here. She's going to be in charge of stinger attacks the entire time, basically. Um, Bahamut goes to the left. Let's see. This angel is going to be... Let's see. Where's the... Uh, it's right there. Okay, so... Angels... No, 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 no. Um, where is it? It's right here. Be here. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, so many breath attacks to work with. Let's go this way with it. Okay. Uh, dragon. Whoops. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put Neptunus in front. Right here. This dragon is going to be... Here. Perfect. Okay. Another Archangel hiding back behind here, behind Endorian's wing. Couldn't even see the, her, uh, him in the whole the entire time. Let's see. Good. React breath attacks, potentially. We'll see. Probably uh, spells more so, but... Let's get you here. Yes. For now. We'll definitely um, rework the formation later. But we gotta follow the dragons all the way up here. So they're pretty, they're pretty slow. Ouch. Really cool ability. Definitely hurts. Bring it. Come on, Rudo. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Didn't even take me down halfway. Alright. Aurora, what are we gonna do? Nicely done. Okay. That'll help. <laughs> Rudo is so dead. Oh my god. Okay. We're definitely gonna breath up that way. Get three hits here. So. He's dead. Big damage. My god. It's pretty insane. Um, hmm. I want to save the reacts for the rune god for sure. So don't waste that too much. I don't think I can paralyze any of these idols. But that's fine. Um, let's be up here with it maybe. 61%, 76%. I can't really get hurt that much by them. They, their attacks are so weak because I have so many orbs on me. Uh, go here. Nice hit. That's really powerful. A faint? You can do that? Listen here, buddy. I don't approve. Alright, get out of here. Stupid prince. <laughs> Alright. Let's, um... Reposition up here, maybe? Yeah, that's fine. Definitely get a hit with you. Um, yeah, this is fine. I thought about reacting, but no. I need to save the reacts. Nice crit, by the way, for the Rune God. All the reacts are saved for the Rune God. Okay, get back here with it. Perfect. And up in here. Uh, yep, this is fine. Let's keep moving. Hmm. I still kind of want to stay out of the range of the uh, big attacks. Um, even though they give me one full turn, but still. Be here. Talia is... No, I need her to be, like, right up against the dragon because flying stinger attack needs to, is two spaces away, so. Let's... Be here? Yes. Actually, no, 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 no. I need to save more spots for the dragons up in front. So we're going to go here with it. Here. Simmer gets up in front. Perfect. 
Okay. I always want to keep on saying Ginger for uh, for Medessa because Ginger was my first witch <laughs> in the game, so pretty cool. Um, I can get all the way over there. My God, this thing must have crazy mobility with with the gear pieces. So you can be here then. Perfect. I will definitely take advantage of this. Um, let's see. You're red. I can do a ton of damage to you. Let's see. 261. 90%. Nice hit. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Get up. Get up this way. Perfect. And this is support back here for now. Um, yeah, good. All right. <laughs> I just Leroy Jenkins that, uh, <laughs> that Hydra right there. But Leroy is powerful today. <laughs> good stuff. Next. Yep. Oof. Oof. Oh, that's a big hit. No counter either. Ouch. No, not a paralyze. Crap. I lost my dog. No. That's okay. Damn. Get out of range. Don't worry. I see it. I see it. Yep, get her out of here. Perfect. Alright, we must take down the ladies right here. Let's see. I thought, yeah, I thought she paralyzed my basilisk at first, but no, it was my dog. Let's see. Man, 105 because it's against red. That's not going to work out. Um, can I get up in there? I can. Okay. Blue needs to hit red. But you've got some green orbs, though. I can kill her. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, this is... Yep. Warning. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to get an enclosure for sure, so we'll move you back around this way. And then we can line up for the rune god. Honestly, we can get a ton of damage already. I'm wondering something, actually, because since they come back after a while, does it start the timer uh, after they're all dead? Because last time it happened, they all came back at once, I think. So if that's the case, can I leave one alive and just not have to deal with that BS? <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Bye, Talia. I'm so sorry. All right. You're going to be up here with it the entire time. You are going to do pre-moves the entire time. So, in fact, I may react that stuff, which would be great to be right here with. So, yep. Angel is going to go right here. Perfect. All right, we're in it. We are in it. Uh, let's see. Are we adjacent yet? We are. Hmm. Bahamut goes first. We have hidden away. Full damage, 208. Let's get him. Let's get him. And he's going to get hit by Endorian this round, too. So. Hmm. Let's see. Can I still breath him if I'm like... No, I have to be in this lane right here. Um. That's fine, just in case. Be right there. Okay. Uh, no hitting away for you, which is fine. You need to be uh, two spaces away to use Flying Stinger the entire time. So. Okay. This is in range. I don't want to get hit. So... I can't do as much damage as I want to this round, but that's okay. It'd be awesome if I could react a uh, an ultimate um, flare or whatever it's called. But no, I don't have the MP for that at all. It's like 180 for that move. Hmm. Uh, let's see. The Simmer can get up in there, and I think that's it except for the Hydra. Yeah, we'll put the Hydra up in here, I think. Or... Do we make him breath through some stuff? Because um, the Simurgh is only 
useful if it's in front. Hmm. And I could bring the Mandrake back, but then again, there's a uh, Stone Crunch or whatever the hell it's called, which won't stone the Rune God, obviously. That'd be broken as hell. Uh, but it will do the most damage. Um, I think I want to put the Simmerg way up here. Yeah. We'll position the Hydra for breath attacks later. So. Yeah, because we can't, you know, populate these areas right here in front anyway, so that's kind of a bust. All right, you definitely need to be in range of Divine Ray attacks, which is here. Perfect. Talia's Flying Stinger goes right here. Curse attacks go right here. Right? Yes. Yep. The only thing we can't really position well are these two right here. So, uh, that's going to be different. React spells go from this angle, which is fine. Uh, more Divine Ray. I would have to populate this spot right here, but I can't. Um, so that angel might be there for support. So This dragon's going to have to populate one of these tiles, so I may just put you on standby here. And get you in front later. Um, yeah, because I have three left, right? Yeah. Uh, the dragon, the hydra, and the other hydra can be in front. The only th uh, issue is the Bahamut. Um, I don't have another space available unless I were to uh, go all the way around where Sid is. That is a space, right? No. I don't think it is. Uh, you're going to stand by here. Let me check that, actually. Um... No, this is not a space. So, we're going to have to either, yeah, we're going to have to like move the Basilisk back and then give the Wyvern a, uh, or the Bahamut a chance to get in there for a hit because these three will be populated later. So, you're going to be over here for now. Perfect. And this is for support only. Yes. I may t need to give some more support to the right side. In fact, I definitely do. Uh, so you're going to go over here and help them out. So, perfect. Okay. Do your thing, Dorian. I'm ready. <laughs> we got him down. Excellent. Ow. Yep, area heal incoming. <laughs> Dead up, boy. Boom. Hell yeah, 1200. Show me that damage. Alright, that's the only thing I don't like about... <laughs> is attacks because now we have to maneuver out of that angle as well so yeah but it's kind of a silver lining i guess just because you know we can afford to move away but there's no power-ups right now we'll wait for a power-up and, and then move obviously okay i think we're going to react an idle flash which should be insane um i barely have enough mp for it but it's going to be worth it so 140 yeah so 280 would be the total Yep. I can't boost it any more than that, but that's okay. 395 with 40% chance to crit. Nice. I would like a crit, though. <laughs> At least one would be awesome. So, uh, stand by here. You're going to stay right there. React. And then I may actually move um, him out of the way. Actually, no, I will not do that. I'll be moving the Basilisk out of the way. But the, the angles change, though. It doesn't really matter. We just go ham on all spaces. <laughs> we move later. I'm thinking way too much about it. So, do it again. Can we crit this time? Hell yes! Hell yes! 730! Hell yes! Alright, alright. We got this. Indeed. Uh, let's see. 
we should be able to uh, stay here. Even though we can't do any more pre-moves. Um, it really doesn't matter, does it? Eh, move anyway. Because nothing matters. <laughs> Just go with your gut. Alright, let's see. Divine Ray. 196, nice. Okay. Uh, Gorgon Gaze, that's what it's called. So, uh, Gorgon Gaze is 160. That's a lot of damage. Let's go. Stone the Rune God! <laughs> Wouldn't that be a trip? That would be such a trip. Okay. Be here with it. Bites are more powerful than breath. Fantastic. Okay, we can afford to stay here for at least one turn. Um, hitting away. This is easy. Go wait. Nice crit, Bahamut. Very good. Just a couple spaces back. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Divine Ray. We'll probably end up reacting it, depending. That is 203. It's decent. But it might not be the best react spell. We'll see. Reacting Talia was probably going to be better. So, can we beat that? 260. Yeah, absolutely. So, Very nice. You know what? Can I get the final kill with Talia? No, I can't. She doesn't have a uh, the imp on her team. It's uh, Medessa. Okay. Well, I can get the kill with Medessa. That's fine. So, Unless I get the kill with uh, <laughs> the ultimate flare. That might be possible as well. Let me kill him. Ultimate flare. Oh, that's so close. Maybe if I crit. Eat it, Rune God. We got the kill with Medessa. I'm all about it. Let's go. Let's go. Curse it up. The Shinobi Tribe LP is complete. Bam! Holla at you, boy. Throw up those victory signs. It's time to get ready for the next one. Yeah, man. So, what a victory, man. That was a blowout on that uh, on that one. The first time I fought the Rune God, uh, the idols reappeared, as I said before. But we took him out so much quicker in this one. So, probably because I did a lot more grinding, I think. So I don't think I had everything up to 30 on um, Gustavo playthrough. But anyways, we can go back and look at that later. Oh man, that feels so good. <laughs> that feels really, really good. So um, next up, we're, we're, not gonna, we're not done yet, obviously. We have some scenes to witness and the credits to roll. Uh, but uh, for tomorrow, we're going to be doing the alternate ending where I'm going to side with the Rune God and see what the ending is like after that. But sh -sh -sh, time for scenes. Nice graphic. わたしは忍びの里で生まれ育った。忍びの里は掟に厳しく何人もの仲間が掟を破り、里を追われたのを見てきた。でも私は割とそんな縛られた世界にいることがそれほど嫌ではなかった。多分それは何かに守られているという安心感から来ていたんじゃないかしら。うん。
そのうちどんどんどんどんどこまでも歩いていけることができるようになるかしら私のルーナジアきっときっと<笑>そうだよね。Awesome. <clears throat> A land of freedom, eh? It's perfect. ルーンの神は、太古の昔から聖なる大地ルーナジアに惜しみなくマナのシャワーを降り注いできた。人間という生き物が。マナの力で知力を磨き繁栄に努めることを願ってな人間たちの中でも特にマナの力を浴びた者はやがてグループを率いるようになり種族を形成し国を作るようになったわけじゃだがのうマナの人間に与える力は果てることがない人間たちはやがてマナの力に突き動かされるように好むと好まざるとにかかわらずさらなる高みを目指すことになったそれは他の民族他の国家を侵略し征服するという野望に突き進むことでもあったのじゃ果たしてそれがルーンの神の意図したものであったかそれとも神の意志とは離れて人間が神の力に乗じて暴走した結果であったかその真実を語れる者はいないだが今大陸統一を果たした王がその歩みを振り返ってみればそれはまごうことなく人間が人間の力で選び取った道でありそしてルーナジアの未来へと続く道だった。たのじゃ。Really cool ending, man. All right, so this is where it's going to show all of the,、uh, of course, credits, but also our teams. So it's going to show a bunch of different monsters that are not on rulers, but、uh, we'll get to that here in a second. Let's let's do my、uh, final thoughts on the LP. The LP was incredible. I loved every single minute of it because it was actually. A lot quicker, <laughs>、uh, but not just because it was quicker, but because it,、uh, I don't know, it, it kind of felt like a break from a harder playthrough for sure. Because from the beginning, we spiraled out of control so quickly. Like, this is what episode 17, I think, and、uh, next episode tomorrow, tomorrow morning will be 18 for the alternate ending. Stay tuned for that for sure. But、uh, yeah, so as far as the story goes, the story. Pulled me in pretty heavily, actually.、Um, not as much as Gustava, I will say. Gustava is definitely the most interesting so far, but this one did have some twists and turns in it, like being able to figure out that Sid was、um, Della's son just by looking at the red eyes. That tipped me off from the very beginning. Just noticing the red eyes said, okay, there's something up with this, with this guy. He probably came from the Shinobi village and was abandoned. At birth, because he was a male, and it was in fact true. The whole uh, crucified uh, uh, cross or whatever it was called, crucified song or spell, I forget what they called it, that the marks was always on their body to experience their pain throughout their entire life, no matter what they went through. That is very, that is very、um, selfless of,、um, of Della, their mother, because she didn't want to be disconnected from them completely. She wanted to have some sense of. You know,、uh, togetherness or relationship, if you will, even though they couldn't be in person the entire time,、uh, her and Sid. But even with Talia as well, it's very humbling and very, very selfless on her part for sure. So she,、uh, she definitely hit home with that one for sure. I gained a lot of respect for her as a mother.、Um, 
But yeah, I'm I'm wondering like So about Ray, like it yes, she is she's dead, but uh I don't know. I may need to go back and see that scene again because it was her fate to die in that way, and she died in a very strange way. I forget entirely what it was. I need to go back and watch that scene, but they never really reintroduced that with anybody else. Um, probably because they want you to keep your knights. But we did lose Sin Gustav in the previous playthrough, right? Um, and we didn't lose any specific knights in this country in particular, because we didn't have use uh, of Rey. She, didn't, she wasn't an actual knight in, in, the, uh, in the nation that we could use. But we didn't lose anybody that we were actually using. So I thought we were going to before the end happened. Like maybe even Della. So in one of the episodes, I'll, I, I started to craft a theory um, and say it. But I, I stopped myself. So like, no, I'm not going to say it until the very end unless it happens. And it didn't happen. So I thought Della was going to die in some way. Um, but uh, she didn't. She carried on. So, okay, cool. I'm going to pop off screen here for just a moment just so the credits can roll on by and when it comes back up with the monsters we'll talk about the teams and all that good stuff I'll let that roll by as well and then we will close out the shinobi tribe LP for good um, except for the next episode tomorrow which is the alternate ending a little treat for you guys so all right thank you so much and I will see you here in just a moment
here is the cycle. Um, is it just gonna cycle for me? Yeah, it's gonna be like that. So, someone came to wish me congratulations, look. This is Paris. Congratulations! We win! Yay! <laughs> he does not want to be up here with me right now. But you bothered me. You bothered me. <laughs> Alright, you gotta go. Oh. Bye. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, it's cycling right now. It's gonna cycle for, like, forever. Um, this is gonna go on until, like, year 786 or something. While I'm sitting here, get this controller. This controller is awesome. Get this controller. Eight here. Uh, it's called Focus. Focus. Yes, it's reversed, but it's called Eight Bit Do SN30 Pro Plus. Grab it up. Anyway, not a sponsored video. <laughs> Link is in the description on Amazon if you want to check that out. Uh, let's see. When do we end? Did we really go to 787? Gosh. Yeah, season 22, 787. <laughs> oh man, that was even more work than Gustavo for sure. But as you can tell, the levels were, you know, in full force. So, all right, we have a new uh, file there. Fantastic. Okay, and then I have to prepare for the alternate ending. So I think we're back to the title screen after this, right? Legends endure for as long as they remain in people's minds. And we are back to the title. Fantastic. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for the Shinobi Tribe LP. I had a ton of fun with it. Let me know your thoughts on the entire LP and the story of uh, Shinobi Tribe. I definitely want to hear some uh, thoughts on that for sure. Some theory crafting about uh, things that weren't, um, you know, concluded or had any closure on. I also would like to know what your theories are on what happened to Aurora and Endorian. I, I asked that question at the, at the end of the Gustava LP. Like, we killed the Rune God, what happened to Aurora and Dorian? I really, really wish I had some clarity on that because they just kind of weren't around anymore, right? So, but anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, as always. And also subscribe if this isn't your first time here after watching this entire LP series. Hopefully you were entertained. And uh, definitely look out for more LP series in the future of Brigandine and other games to come. If you have not checked out my first playthrough of Star Renegades, I will leave the uh, first episode at the outro of this video. So check that out. Let me know your thoughts on that one as well. Any more Brigandine resources you want access to, check the description below. The Discord server is in there where the community is popping off and having some conversations about the new game and the old game as well. So get in there. Let us know what you think about the new game if you are currently playing it. You can also check out the subreddit page. You can check out the wiki page. A whole bunch of other resources are down there, including other Brigandine content creators besides myself. Last thing, if you have not voted on my next LP series of Brigandine Legend of Renercia, you can find that poll on my main page. Go to the community tab, scroll down, and go ahead and lock in your vote for who you want me to play next. I just checked it yesterday. United Islands of Morelva has pulled ahead of Mana Silesia Theocracy. So if you guys want me to play Mana Silesia, you better get on that poll. But in any case, put whatever vote you want in there. It's still anybody's game. And I will be closing this poll as soon as 24 hours has passed uh, past tomorrow's episode. So as soon as tomorrow's episode goes up, I will be closing the poll the following morning. So... Uh, two mornings from now, the poll will be closed at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, USA. Thank you so much for watching. I am your host, Valko Sonari, and I will see you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.